Hey everyone, friends, family, strangers uh, who may be stumbling across this video on this GoFundMe page, um, or I guess you could be stumbling across it on YouTube, which is where this video is going to be hosted. And uh, if you don't know what the GoFundMe is uh, and you want to see it, I'll link it here on the YouTube video. But for those of you viewing this on the GoFundMe page, you'll see that there's a lot of copy down below. And so I wanted to create an accompanying video kind of summarizing a little bit more of what it is exactly that I'm trying to achieve here. Um, you know, last night when I was speaking to a, a colleague, of, I guess, if you will, or a contemporary, someone who's in the marketing space, and I was discussing this with them and letting them know I'm, I'm rolling this out tomorrow. They're like, great, let me know if you need any help producing the video and editing it. And I was kind of sitting here thinking, okay, maybe. But then uh, this morning as I was getting ready to, to film this, I was like, well, I, I want to try to keep it as authentic and short and sweet as possible. I mean, even as I started recording this, you can hear my dog just lapping up his water out of the bowl super loud. So I don't know if the microphone's picking this up or if it's good at noise canceling. Um, but either way, I'm leaving that in. So you get to hear a sloppy dog drinking. Um, but anyhow, so the short and sweet of it is, is I want to do free marketing for small businesses. Um, you know, I've been doing marketing now for over 21 years. I've acquired a lot of skill sets, knowledge experience and I know the value that I can bring and success that I can provide to a lot of businesses and I wanted to find a way that I'd be able to do that and be able to offer it out to small businesses deserving small businesses and I kind of list out criteria down below in this um, and and give them free marketing help their business businesses succeed you know I I know in conversations with several friends who operate small businesses or previous small business clients that I've had that that is really a struggle is to find their marketing budget. And so I have this concept. It could be wild. It could be crazy. I don't know. That's why I put it in the wishes section of GoFundMe, which is really cool. They have that category. This is a wish. This is a desire. The only way I'm going to be able to do this is if this GoFundMe succeeds, because essentially what I'm going to do is offer up all of my marketing skills and time to small businesses for free. For an entire year, I want to try it for 12 months. And if there's success while I'm going through this, which I fully anticipate there will be, and I'm going to document it on all of my social media channels, I'm going to update it here on the GoFundMe, all the small businesses I'm working with, I'm going to promote them, um, kind of put a spotlight on them, show the marketing that I'm doing for them, report back on the successes um, that they've had as a result of it. Um, you know, it's essentially instead of me going... Um, you know, So back in September, my role was eliminated um, at the company that I was with. And at that point, I kind of sat there and thought, okay, well, what's the next step for me? Um, I landed more towards on the, okay, well, I'm going to roll out a marketing consulting business. Take, take my time um, and my knowledge and my experience and, and turn it into my own thing. Work with businesses on a, you know, um, for profit type of approach where I'm charging them, you know, per hour for my, for my time. And as I'm standing that up, you know, I'm getting in conversations with, businesses who are looking to hire my services. And I actually had one who we engaged for about a week and a half. We discussed the campaign we were going to run. Um, they needed the landing page, all the social copy, accompanying ads, and they were on an urgent time crunch. We need this before Thanksgiving. Um, you know, so I, we came to a verbal agreement. I had written everything down into a contract and said, okay, here we go. Here's the price. Um, you know, please sign and return. And in the meantime, they're like, great, we're going to push this up through legal to review. And, um, you know, again, we're, 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 this is urgent. We need it done before Thanksgiving. So I, in good faith, just start building this stuff for them. And they, keep in mind, this, like, I'm asking, the amount that I'm asking for this GoFundMe, these people probably spend in under a quarter in their marketing. So this company is a little bit larger, actually significantly larger than a, I wouldn't categorize them anywhere near a small business. And... I start where I put in probably about 14 hours at this point, which is not a lot of time, but it's it's a good amount of time. 14 hours head down working through this, this project, waiting for them to return the signed contract. And then I do 50 percent up front of the agreed upon cost. Well, I follow up about a week later and say, hey, you wanted to check on that contract. They come back to me and say, you know what? We actually don't feel like we're going to be ready before Thanksgiving to promote and push and sell this product. We're actually deciding now we're going to hold it until the new year. And at that point, we'll reassess and figure out, is this still the approach we want to do or we want to do it different? So I basically just did 14 hours of work for free for them. And that just kind of 
encapsulates so much of the thought process to people who have large marketing budgets versus those who are scraping together every penny or don't even have the pennies to put together a marketing plan or strategy or campaign, um, which is really where what pushed me even harder to want to do this. So I know, again, we're already five minutes in this. If you're still with me here, great. Um, so the concept here is, is I want to establish a fund that'll help essentially cover my living expenses, which I'm a frugal person. I can, I can keep that down. And then also, um, the, the expenses that's going to cost the, the software, the programs, the materials, I will at times often likely bring in third parties, um, resources, you know, I, I, since I will be bringing them so much, um, volume or business, they will give it to me at a discounted rate that these small businesses wouldn't normally be able to negotiate with a particular agency or, or vendor. So, you know, that's, that's a lot of what's factored into this amount. And even still, this is a very low amount in the grand scheme of, I know what I'm going to be providing doing for all these small businesses for 12 months, but it's an experiment. This is something I want to try. And if it succeeds, then as I go into the next year, I'm really going to push harder to, to really turn this into essentially a nonprofit campaign where I can raise funds and continue to do this for small businesses. And ideally, as I'm going through this, I will get more marketers willing to offer some of their services for free and, and volunteer some pro bono time as well. So that's the whole idea behind this. It's a mouthful. It's a lot. I know there's a lot of you sitting here going, well, I don't care about small. I don't run a small business. I don't, you know, but I guarantee someone, you know, a family member, a friend, they are involved in a small business, whether they work for one, whether they run one, they're thinking about launching one and the impact that it can. I mean, I, I love small businesses. My haircut, shout out to Derby Supply Co. here in, I'm in Reno, Nevada. Um, you know, that I've gone to them now for, for four and a half years. I don't go to a chain um, barber shop or, or haircut shop. Um, this shirt, uh, G2O, you know, I, I love these small vendors who put together their creativity and they they do their best through social media marketing to get it out there. Um, you know, they, I'm a big advocate and fan of small businesses. I do believe so much of the success of our economy lies on the back of them being able to succeed. And, and there's little things. It's it's the small things. I know marketing isn't gonna gonna be a game changer for a lot of a lot of businesses, but for for many it will be. And that's what I'm looking to find. I'm looking to find those ones who are kind of in that point of, well, I need this growth, I need the I need the sales, I need the attention, I need the clients, I need the business. I can deliver that for them. I know I can. I want to be able to, but the only way I'm going to be able to is if this GoFundMe is successful. So that's the short and sweet of it. My goal is to keep this video under 10 minutes. I've done that. We're at about eight minutes here. If you've hung in with me through this whole thing, great. I appreciate you. Again, it's I, I wrote the math down and I have it here in front of me, so apologies for looking down, but it's as simple as 180,000 people giving $1 or 36,000 people giving $5, 9,000 people giving $20, 1,800 people giving $100, three people giving $60,000, or if there's just one generous you know, person out there who wants to give the full $180,000, much appreciated. I assure you every dollar will be showcased. Um, I will clearly and, and detailed showcase everything that I'm doing. My goal is to have about five small business clients every month that I'm at least delivering for or working on some campaigns for them. Um, again, so if you, you know, if you're just sitting here, if you come across this again, $5, just, you know, again, uh, you hear this a lot. It's just a coffee, skip that coffee today. It is, but that, that $5, you never know what that can contribute to what small business is going to find success from you taking the time to just go through. It's about four minutes. I've gone through the donation process to just donate $5 through PayPal or, or whatever other link options GoFundMe has. But anyway, thank you again. I appreciate it. I'm really hopeful that this thing is successful. And the only way I can find that success is, is with your support. So I appreciate it. Thank you. And I will continue to send the video updates throughout this process. So I will talk to you all soon.